Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another beautiful video. In today's video, you guys, I am in a community called Omonango, Omonango Village. That is where I am. And I've come here to see a widow. She has been a widow for over 60 years, according to the story I heard. And she's currently 112 years old. And this is her granddaughter. This is one of her grandchildren. So she is the person I've come to see in this community. And I just say, let me carry you guys along. Let us go and see this widow. So let's go. Ma, good afternoon. Good morning. 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 Hey. Yes. 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 I Mama I think I'm the kind of like I buy. Or if one more, your mark over. Your mamma, you move. Your man, you are mark. Jesus, your mark, I shall be more. Oh, I swear, I shall be a boy. So you guys, I'm about to start recording um mama. I've come to see her. Um this is the grandma that I promised you guys I'm going to bring on the channel. I came to this town for a different thing entirely. And then I one thing led to the other. I got to meet her. I promised to bring her up here on the channel so that we can interview her and learn from her own experience. Because I believe that at this her age, 112 years, she has been through a lot. Like I said before, this is one of her grand um, daughters. So let me start by asking Mama a few questions. Of course, she's going to be talking in Igbo while I try my best to interpret what she has said in English. So, um, Mama, in way you go anya fagi. Oto 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 oto. Udengo baam. Udengo. Bulo oto oto. Yes. Oh, okay. Gloria, ba wey bon. Gloria. 
Oh, her English name is Gloria. Bala. Oh, her yeah. Igbo name is Ude Ndo. Mm. Uh -huh. So, um, I am a Gularo Nadi. I am a Gularo Nadi. Omogi, your children have told me your age. Mm -hmm. So, Omogi, I watch a Gularo Nadi. I am a Mobila Juju. So, I am trying to tell her that I have some questions to ask her, being an aged person, so that you know, she tell us her experience so far. Ego. Achom, umu one ke emu. Ge keta. Eh. Ya, umu gini ine. One ke. Na mu chim nabo pota. Eh. Ma de, mu ho ke nabo. Okay. Na mu ya nana. Okay. That is six. She has six children. Six. Six. Yes. Mama says six. Ka so no ibo. Mama, mama mu na mu ibo. Mobong, <laughs> 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 grandchildren she has about um 50 something grandchildren currently as we speak you know of course she's still going to be here for us and more are still coming so another question i have for you so I'm trying to ask her another question now, which is what and what she did, you know, to train her children. Hey. Video, <laughs> Wow. Okay, mm. so bad, you know. So what she's trying to tell us is that um she used farming to raise her children. So she just told me a short story, which I'm going to summarize right now. She said there was a day she went to the farm, you know, with her less than two months old child, baby, to go and weed grasses for somebody, you know. They go to weed grasses and then they pay them, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when she got there, the person refused to make food for that would be enough for she and her baby and the person, her baby keeper, the person that is helping her to hold the child while she walk. So after the walk, she collected her money and refused to eat because the person refused to feed the other person that came 
with her. And then she had to keep, come back to her house to come and cook and eat. So she's just trying to share with us what she went through, you know, in the course of trying to train her children. And um, she also said something that just got my attention now. Before she said she needs to stop talking so that she will not go emotional. She said she also goes to fetch water for people, right? I heard that. Oh, you go and fetch water, fill up people's drum just to feed and take care of your children. So she's such a hardworking woman. Mm. She said that is the reason why she has so much sickness on her body. Mm. Because the last time I visited, I, I, I discovered that she was coughing. Mm. And then I told them that if they give her injection, you know, to follow up with the cough, that is going to stop. So when she saw me today, she was so excited and told me that she went to take treatment for that cough. And it has subsided, the cough has subsided. So it's a thing of joy that I'm, in fact, it's a privilege that I'm sitting right next to this grandma. I am, as I'm sitting down here right now, I'm learning so much already. So let's progress in the video. Mama, in Wiki Wam, like, can you tell me how old you were when you got married? I don't know if you were I'm I'm so she, she said she got married at 12 12 years she was 12 years old when she got married so what we are talking about now is that this is her when i say 100 years anniversary in marriage so if you're currently about to click out from watching this video, please stay tuned because she, she has a lot to teach. Trust me. It's a privilege that we have such a person here on the channel. So, Mama, eh? Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. another question. So, you have a question. The next thing I want to ask her is, I learned that she has been a widow for over 60 years. So I want to know, you know, ask her her experience as a young widow. Mama, mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mama, eh, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to ask you now is. What was your experience as a young widow? Yeah, I just want to know what you do. You see, for the case of COVID, can you hear? Bon casio bigi, you wear no gide se, you wear zoro moga. Hey, now when you're gonna dig in Nobel, can you hear? Bon, you hear Mbamu Megi. You wanna know what? Oh, now you meet. Oh, but you want to be my nanomi? Eh, and you want me? Yes. I'm walking, walking, you know, Wow. Eh? Wow. What a beautiful experience. So she's trying to say that what inspired her, you know, to stay and raise her children despite being a very young widow is that her husband's family, they love her and they took care of her. So the lesson here is that she is a good woman because if she was not a good woman, I don't think her husband's family would be there to encourage her, you know, when her husband died. The very first thing she said was that God was, you know, what encouraged her, that her encouragement and strength came from, came from God, okay? So she said that God was her encouragement and strength, that she drew her strength from God when her husband died. Okay, so I want to ask her now to advise young widows, 
that is what I want to advise her, I, you know, ask her now. So, Mama, hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 So what she's trying to say, she said her advice for young widows is to, you know, be encouraged and raise <coughs> their children, never abandon their children. Because during their old age, it is their children that will take care of them. That she was able to, you know, stay and take care of her children with the help of her husband's family, you know, her husband's family members. And now that she's old, her children are in return taking care of her. So she said that is um, the advice that she has for young widows. Okay, so that brings me to the very last question I want to ask um, Mama. I want to ask her, what does she think that brings about the too much divorce in marriages, especially marriages among young people? If you look around you now, you're going to notice that the rate of divorce is too high. So I really want to hear from her to advise us with our experience in marriage, you know, advise us, you know, and tell us what you think is the reason why there is so much divorce in the country now. So, Mama, how do you 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 Oh, well, I go, but where on your on your bomb? Mhm. No, baby, 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 so what she is trying to say is that the reason why there is too much high rate of divorce is lack of humility when in the you know in terms of both male and female lack of patience, people's inability to be nice to other people. That when you marry a wife, you should be nice to your wife and your wife in return should be nice to you. You know, people should stop being bad to each other. That she think the high rate of divorce has to do with lack of patience, humility, both in male and female. That everybody just wants to have everything at the same time. That if we bend down, you know, to pick it one after the other, that we all are going to have a good and beautiful marriage. So I think this is the last question I have for Mama. Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Amen. Yes, <laughs> もうありあかりきでなか。Yes.
Can't you get a plane? Oh, 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 Amen. 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 Oh, Yes, 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 I got no. I make it happen. Because the angel man can't help you. Because the angel man can't help you. Previously, oh, 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 Yes, <laughs> Yes, ma. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, any, any, any. No, 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 no. Mama, did the hundred and twelve years. <laughs> when I more the mama, the mama don't pull my cob, the mama go all the young. I don't know the way. Hmm. Can't jump. Why? 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 Why?